Thank you for watching. Uh, today we're going to be talking about web blogs and how they can be used in education. So first of all, what is a blog? A blog is basically a type of web page or it can be a part of a web page. Blogs are usually maintained by an individual with regular entries or commentaries, uh, descriptions or of events or other materials such as graphics or video. Entries are commonly displayed in reverse chronological order. Most blogs are interactive, allowing visitors to leave comments and even message each other via widgets uh, on the blog. And it's this interactivity that distinguishes blogs from other static websites. Blogs can be an important part of classrooms. The students can interact with teachers, with each other, and even with people from all over the world. They can post their ideas and receive responses and feedback. Blogs provide a space where teachers and students can work uh, to further develop writing or other skills with the advantage of instant audience. Teachers can offer institutional tips and audience can practice and benefit from peer review. They also make online mentoring possible. A class blog opens the opportunity for students to discuss topics outside the classroom. Blogs present, organize, and protect students' work as digital portfolios, um, as all their entries are, are, are archived. Developing skills are, pro are progress and may be analyzed more, more conveniently. In addition to providing teachers with an uh, excellent tool of communicating, there are numerous education benefits of blogs. Blogs are highly motivating to students, especially those who otherwise may not become participants in classrooms. So blogs are a very important tool and the best way to understand the potential of blogs as teaching and learning tools is to become a blogger yourself. Students should be able to see the importance of blogging through the teacher so they do not stop in the moment that the semester or the course ends. Start blogging is really easy. You just need to find a good web blog and take it from there. When you're ready to begin your own blog, you may want to start s small by, by posting small sentences or even links. Once you feel more comfortable, you may start writing more in depth. You can even start playing with your, with your post, maybe post something funny or something, something interesting about yourself. You can even be a public blogger and write your name in everything that you post. Now that you are a blogger, you can start doing it with your students. So first, you need to know the level of internet access that your students have. They may have internet only in their houses, or in the institution, or maybe just in the institution. Then, remember that it is important to start small, I already said. Use your blog to post homeworks, and at this moment, don't worry about responding, because what you want is students to get used to, to receiving the information from the internet. After that, you can start posting questions so students can answer and start writing a small post so they, can, so they can get used to it. Make sure that you are clear on what your expectations are and when the students are comfortable enough, they can start their own blog so they can post what they want and create, create re original stuff that is their stuff. However, there is something important to keep in mind and that's safety. Make sure that the parents, students, and even the administrator staff in your institution know what you're doing and the reasons behind what you're doing. Also, make sure that you get the proper permissions. Uh, make sure that you tell the parents about how you're going to protect the students' privacy. This could be by not using last names or by using pseudonyms for students who have unique names. Uh, teach students not to publish personal identifiers about themselves or other people as, the cl as their classmates. It's important that they know how to report when when they
have a problem, whether technical, technical sorry, or contact related. Finally, make sure you check what the students are writing so you can avoid posts that maybe are not really proper for them.